The Diary of Sebastian von Danningberg, the Luftwaffe's newest pilot. 2nd of November 1944. Our squadron has been relocated to Greven Airfield, away from the front lines, in order to regroup and rebuild the unit. As the days get shorter, our patrols are getting longer. Fuel management on these sorties is key. With fuel and resources becoming scarce as the year goes on, we have to manage what we have to make sure it lasts as long as possible. Today we have been given a new free hunt patrol. We will head southwest from Greven to the first waypoint over the town of Dern, before heading up to Tilburg before returning home. The weather is calm with light winds but heavy cloud cover at 2,800 meters. Takeoff is just before 2 p.m. Now is time. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're on a long patrol today. Obviously, we did the uh, transfer to the airfield further away from the front line a couple of times ago, if you can recall. Uh, so we've got a heck of a flight on any patrol to the front lines. I better speed up, I've been dropped back a little bit. We're back with Sebastian von Dannenberg in his Fogwolf 190A8 and we're on another free hunt today looking after these young pilots. I'll let them go by and we'll collect on the rear. How many have we got there? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. There should be one more. I think there should be one more. Or maybe I've miscounted. Who knows? Nice. Right, so we're going to close in now, form up, and we're going to start our long patrol. Yeah, it's nice to be back up with um, the squadron in the uh, FW190. It's been a long time, I know. Um, it's going to take probably. A little while to get used to uh, flying this aircraft again after the slight hiatus we've had, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we've reached waypoint one, and this is over enemy territory. And as you can see, we um, are in a very loose and disorderly uh, formation, but we are still circling around this location. We've got factories and uh, this town that's been bombed by the looks of things. Yeah. Maybe there's going to be another bombing raid coming in, who knows. But flight leader's got us circling around this town. Potentially, yeah, it could be another bomb force coming in, but um, at the moment, no idea. We're just circling around until we get the command to move on. Okay, see the formation. We have, we're coming up to this cloud. Yes, there it is. Just coming in and out of the clouds. Where's he gone? I've lost him. There he is. We spot an aircraft. It's a Spitfire. Oh, it's a second Spitfire as well. I didn't see the second one. Okay, we're diving down. See if we can get on the tail of the Spitfire. Don't know where the first one has gone. We've got a faster 190 there. We'll let him lead the way then. Alright, another flight up there. Let's see how he gets on. He's waggling his wings. I'm not quite sure if that's a symbol or he's just trying to get into a position. Oh, he's got a hit. Oh, I think he's got a kill. Yep, I don't think I need to do anything with that. Good shooting, boys. All right.
Let's climb up and see if we can spot the second one. That's him down there, isn't it? Ah, oh, somebody else has got to him! No! Well, what can I say? The flight is getting good. I was a little bit slow to the party on that one, but never mind. Happy. Happy with the end result, a bit more experience for the flight. Well, um, that was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? Maybe we can... Stay up here, see if anyone pops up. Oh, hello. There's a Spitfire, there's a 190. Just they were very fortunate I wasn't in that position. I've got the momentum. There's a Spitfire right there. Go hits. Ah, is that him there? Nice. An orange blossoming explosion on the ground. Tells me he didn't manage to recover. I do not see a parachute. It's a lot of um, artillery fire or anti-aircraft fire, isn't there? Maybe it wasn't a bombing. Maybe it was just um, artillery bombardment. All right. Is it everyone? I've got a kill, so I'm happy. Aircraft down there. By the T in the river. Let's see if there's anything else happening. We'll stay high just below the cloud layer. Sounds like there is. Something coming out of the clouds right there. I think we might be. The excitement might be over for the moment. No, I say that, and already somebody's going down in flames. Got Spitfire down on the 190 here. Oh my goodness, it's quickly turned. Where are these ones come from? We were slowing down, forming up. We've been jumped by some more spits. I've got one right there, so I've got to be careful. I've kind of got the momentum on him. We'll play this one, I think, if I can get some hits on him.
somebody else is firing at him. I'll stay out of the way for the moment. There you go. Into the sun. Oh, god, nice. A death throw. Oh, it's been hit by somebody else. That's what you get for jumping the flight. <laughs> you get a lot of angry pilots coming on to you, I think. We're going to be sharing that kill. Well, that's fine. No problems there. Well, I think the excitement's over for the moment. So, um,. Everything's calmed down, so yeah, we'll form up. And seeing how well we did, I think we took a couple of losses there. Well, one damaged, one destroyed, I think. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll form up and uh, continue on with the patrol. Cool. It's quite the baptism of fire to be back, isn't it? Eh? Okay, we've got more Spitfires just coming up. Oh my god. Again, every time we just try and form up, the Spitfires coming up after us. I've got one on my tail, so I'm going to continue to turn. That's a Spit in trouble, is he? No, it's a 190, is it? Oh my god, I can't tell. Spit. Oh, I just couldn't tell to the last second there. I got him smoking now, I think. I think that's the one I hit. I hope that's the one I hit. Somebody's going in. Got a spit on a 190. Hang in there, boy. I'm coming. Oh, it's a 190. Thank God I missed. Oh, hello. I got company. Squeeze your toes, let's pull the G's. turning fight with the Spitfire, which is not a good idea. If it, oh, there we go. That's, that's the reason why it's not a great idea. Ah, oh, couldn't get the nose up. Continue round. Keep leading off as little as possible. Can't see him. There he is. Not 
quite. Yep, that's a burning spit. That's a kill. Right, let's climb. We've got aircraft dueling here. That is going to be the Spitfire because that big black line suggests that that is a 190. Right, let's stick to it. We know this one's the Spitfire. Does he fire at that one? That looks like a 190 going into the cloud. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Got hits, but possibly not kill. Following rounds. Got a 190 on his tail now. I don't care if he finishes him off. Uh, I'm not going to go up. I'm going to turn. Some anti aircraft fire up here now. I assume friendly. <laughs> I kind of ducked behind the uh, the engine there, just in case he's going to get a couple of shots off. Oh, there you go. There's our stall. Let's um, pick up the pace then. Oh, got Spitfire coming on my tail. Breaking off the uh, pursuit. Still there. Trying to hit the brakes so we'll fly right by. Didn't work that time. Did he crash? I don't know what happened to him. Oh no. Is that him? Ah, uh, looks like him. Well, aircraft to my nine o'clock. I'm not sure who that is. Is that another 190 coming in? No, that is a Spitfire. All of a sudden, there's two Spitfires and me. Where's everyone else gone? Although they're both in front of me, which is a good thing. He's peeling off. Are they aware of me? They seem to be forming up. Okay, more aircraft over there. I think that's the rest of the 190s coming in, which is good, which means I can concentrate on this one. He knows I'm there now. Got him. The long range pepper spray. Potentially one moving in behind. There he is. Oh, lost him. Oh, there he is. I see him.
Wow, that was a tough old aircraft. Oh, no, hang on, I think he's stalling now. Stalling is a good thing. Keep an eye out for any other aircraft. I was going to say, I lost him for a second. Right, I think... Unless that last Spitfire comes and bothers us. I don't know what the old fuel situation is like. Time to go home. Okay, the radio crackles into life. Must mean we are near home base. And in fact, we should be directly over it. There, there it is there, look. There's the T, which indicates which way we are landing. Lovely. In fact, it's a bit of a crossfield landing by the looks of that wind. Okay, but that's the active. No problem. Right. We don't seem to have taken any damage, which is uh, which is good for us. Um, so let's bring it around now and uh, see how many enemy aircraft kills we're going to claim. Oh, a little bit low over the anti-aircraft guns. Bit of a bounce, but not too bad since we haven't flown this for quite some time. Bit of brakes. Confirmation then, after a successful landing. Oh, it says one hour, six minutes and 31 seconds in the sky. Okay, fine. I got my timings wrong. Um, three aircraft kills we've been confirmed with, which is great. I'm just trying to rack my brains. A lot happened in that flight, and I saw a lot of burning Spitfires going down. I'm just trying to remember which ones we hit. Three is probably, yeah, three is the right number, isn't it? So, uh, cool, cool, cool. Let's see how the rest of the guys got on. It was a bad mission. No wonder we thought they went a little bit light towards the end. We lost a lot of good pilots. Four pilots killed. Um, Burnt, he was sadly killed, but managed to get a fighter. Um, Christoph Frank, he was wounded, brought the aircraft home, uh, and claimed two kills. Uh, Julius was killed with one kill. 
and um, Fredlin and Gerd sadly were, were lost with uh, no kills. However, Sebastian von Danningberg was fine, no injuries, aircraft was serviceable, came home with three kills, and Alphonse uh, came back with a damaged, or maybe he cra it says it crashed, but he, maybe he uh, did a forced landing, uh, was able to get back to base and confirmed two kills. So nine kills in total, uh, and it takes the aircraft total for the squadron up to 134 kills. 64 vehicles, 23 railroad, 61 heavy weapons, 45 buildings, 16 marine. And if we look at, well, there's not many of us left, but one is standing proud with 33 kills to his name. Sebastian von Danningberg. So yeah, reinforcements and possibly some more aircraft could be uh, much needed. And we are on one of the more remote airfields away from the front line so yes heaven forbid we're still picking up huge amounts of uh, casualties which is not good maybe it's just the way it is in November 1944 will we live to fight another day yes will we live to fight the day after that we'll only find out join me then thanks very much for watching take care bye bye